Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome to our channel. In our last video, we covered the steps for setting up JMeter on both Windows and Mac systems. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching it before diving into this one. In today's video, we will dive into the JMeter folder structure. Before diving into the fundamental aspects of JMeter, it is always good to gain some basic understanding of its folders and files along with their respective purposes. This can significantly enhance your understanding of the tool. It will also guide you in recognizing the important files and their exact locations within the system. So without any further delay, let's get started. Once you have downloaded and extracted the Apache JMeter archive, you will find these folders and files. These are JMeter folders and files are organized in a hierarchical manner. Now let's quickly navigate through each folder and its corresponding files. Okay. Just to be clear, the outline folder structure belongs to the latest JMeter version that is 5.6.2. First, let's start the discussion with the main folder Apache JMeter. This is also called as root folder because it is the highest folder in the hierarchy. At the end of the folder name I have mentioned as XYZ. This represents the downloaded version of the JMeter. As of the recording date of this video, the most recent JMeter version is 5.6.2. So when you extract the archive, you will see the root folder name as Apache JMeter 5.6.2. Under the root folder, the first folder that you will see is backups folder. If you haven't initiated any scripting in JMeter, this folder might not be visible. It is generated only once you begin the scripting activities. So please don't get confused if you don't see this folder in your JMeter folder structure. After you start scripting, JMeter will create this folder and start taking the script backups after a certain interval. These backup files are generated with JMX extension. There is a limit on the number of backups allowed for a particular script and we can modify the limit in the JMeter properties files. Okay. The next folder in the hierarchy is bin. This is a very important folder in the folder structure. It contains executable files like JMeter.bat for Windows or JMeter.sh for Unix based systems to launch the JMeter graphical user interface and other utility scripts. Along with the executable files, you can also see some configuration files and some properties files like JMeter properties and user properties. Okay. There are three subfolders available in the bin folder. Examples, report templates and templates. In the example folder, you can find some CSV and script examples. In the report templates and templates folder, you can find some sample report templates and script templates. You can use these script templates to quickly develop the JMeter script. The next folder in the hierarchy is docs. This folder contains mainly JMeter package documentation, Apache JMeter logos and user interface screenshots. This will help us to review the JMeter packages and also different classes documentation locally in our system. This folder also contains three subfolders API, CSS and images. In the API folder, we will have all the documentation related to JMeter packages. In CSS, we have some style sheets used for this documentation. In the images folder, we will have JMeter logos and screenshots of the JMeter user interface. The next folder on our list is the extras. It contains additional resources, extensions, or supplementary files that can enhance JMeter's functionality. It may contain various add-ons, third-party libraries, or components that provide extended capabilities for specialized features within JMeter. The next folder in the hierarchy is the lib. This folder holds important libraries and Java archive, also called as JAR files, that serves as the core component supporting JMeter's functionality. These files are crucial for the proper functioning of JMeter and are required to execute the test plans and simulate different types of loads and protocols. This folder contains two subfolders, ext and junit. The ext or extension folder contains the extensions or plugins which can help to extend the JMeter functionality. If you would like to add any custom plugins, then this is the ideal location for storing and managing those custom plugins. junit is a popular Java testing framework for conducting functional and unit testing. We can integrate junit in JMeter to perform assertions, validations and functional testing of Java applications. So all the JUnit jar files are copied in JUnit folder. The next folder in the hierarchy is licenses. It contains the licenses and legal documentation associated with the various components, libraries and plugins used within the JMeter software. It stores the licensing agreements, terms and conditions for third party libraries, dependencies or any other components included in JMeter. This folder makes sure that JMeter follows the rules for using software and gives user legal information about the different parts including in JMeter. The next one on the list is printable docs. 
This folder contains documentation and guides formatted for printing purposes. These documents offer comprehensive information, demos, tutorials and guides in a format optimized for printing, making it convenient for users to access offline. Along with all the folders, you can also see three files in the Apache Jmeter folder. Those are license, notice and readme.md. The license file outlines the software licensing terms and conditions, specifying how Jmeter software can be used, distributed and modified. The notice file typically Typically contains information about any third party libraries, components or dependencies utilized within JMeter, listing their licenses, etc. Additionally, the readme.md file serves as a readme documentation in markdown format, providing essential information, instructions and guidelines for users to get started with JMeter. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting me. I hope you understand the JMeter folder structure explained in this video. In case anything is not clear or requires more detailed information, please feel free to mention it in the comment section. All the video notes have been uploaded in GitHub and you can find the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited. I will see you with the next video in this module. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.